another lesson on python hands on or python programming so in today lessons we are going to learn or we are going to understand a simple program like count the lines words and character present in the file okay so for doing all the things we are going to use this file okay and the file content you can see as you, as you can see on the screen okay so the file name is input underscore file dot txt okay so on this file we are going to do like we are going to count number of line number of words and number of character available okay so how we can do that let's create one program called count okay count words okay care and line so you can write something like that you can write simple name as well okay but i'm going to do do that okay so our first thing should be we have to let's handle with the help of try catch okay first we are going to write try catch okay and then file equal to or again here we are going to use with so what use of with it will do all the closing open input or let's create some variable first file name or file path and if the uh, file is a uh, present at same location available at same location then you can just write the file name then you can call file path by default reading mode is enabled and then as and create the object like file and then here you can write file content equal to file dot read okay so it will in read entire content okay so we are getting this error so first let's complete the exception handling part except okay and then write the first handling like file not found exceptions print here message the file whatever the file name so file name is file path right and this not exist okay so i am writing some standard messages and rest that after and del general exceptions rest of the exception other than file handling as e and then here again we are going to write print then f then this and error occurred yeah double r occurred mm, and what could be that so let's call like that and then str and then we are calling the str method on this app Hello. So, if you are no Java, is called twisting, twist, or maybe for simplicity, if you know Python, so this is called. Whenever you call something, so you will get some object type of return. But if you want to convert the str of that return, so you have to convert that object to str. Or, or all classes in Python, so or not in Python, rest of the uh, programming language, they all have twisting something default method to get error. Okay, so we are just converting. Calling str method available on that object, okay. So they are type of standard error define. What the error we are getting basically, okay. So all these are handle. So here we are handling the file not found exception, and other than file not found exception, we are handling everything to here. We will get here, okay. So write it. Check the spelling mistake. Fine. So try catch. We handle to properly handle everything. And this one's for 
this will handle opening closing right and you can also print like some gracefully closing the messages thank you for visiting oh, anything this is not website but again I'm writing something thank you for visiting or let's make it us okay and then so we have done file things so first let's do one by one we are going to check see everything I am writing inside this width okay so make sure to maintain proper spacing okay so first print file content now python 3 and then count words okay something like that okay so you can see everything is fine now we are going to do one by one okay so let's comment this one because we are not intended to do this one we just want to check everything is working or not so first we are going to check what we are going to first line count okay so line count we are going to do first so how we can do that so first file content and then press dot you will get some is there some split line okay so you can see this one method split lines so it will split the whole content by lines okay and the return of all this we will get type of list so if you count the number of element in that list how you do that call the len len is length function this will return integers okay and then we are going to print okay so let's write some um, comment here display the count okay so it might be counts anything multiple time so print and then file stats anything okay we are going to do multiple so our first thing should be print f lines okay so first we are going to print lines and we are going to call and then line count okay this one then i will do word count then we will do character count okay one by one we are going to see how everything working so clear this okay fine so you can see file statistics 24 lines okay so this one now so here we can make it more formatted so here we can write line counts now we are going to do word count words count for word count we are going to create some variable word count for doing that again follow the same approach first you have to call content whatever content so all the content available at this file content variables then call the split okay so split so split lines means it will split everything by some delimiter called slash n okay in by default you can say it will separate with the this separator okay if you don't be, because we are calling a split line but in case of here by default it treated as a space so it will split everything all content in file with the help of separator a space by default a space is separator okay 
by space okay like that okay you really like and now again this will return a list again you have to call len function that will count the number of element present in any list because the return type of this will be type of list so we are going to call here again what will be this words okay words and then call word count okay so let me do this again okay so you can see line 24 words is 228 and one more is character count okay third one is char count so you can think how we can do that char count equal to file content here we do not have to do everything and just like here we done like calling some extra method because all the thing everything you know is a type of string right all the thing has type of character right so because a string is also type of character so all the things treated as a character so directly you have to call n e n okay we do not have to do because character we do not have to worry about okay obviously there might be spaces some um, um, escape sequences so that will not treat it as character rest of the will treat it as a character the what about the printable character okay so it will see here so now again we are going to copy call here that is called character character count and that is called char count fine let's print this again okay so you can see this number of character available this number of words available 228 and 24 lines available in this whole thing okay so let me see how we, it is visible 24 line here in this content yeah 24 able visible line okay so you can see and uh, what about i think you can do this manual i am not going to spend more time about this doing manual task okay so 28 what is there one 835 is total number of characters available in this program or in this file okay so this was the simple program and then that is very his useful somewhere where okay maybe i will just also recommend in this case i have done with the help of reading okay so one time all character is all file content is read by this line of code right but if you also now let's do you can check by your own for practice purpose that is also very helpful first you have to read line by line okay line by line you do not have to read entire content and for doing that you can call here file dot read line okay read line so i'm just giving this tasks so you can test by your check your code and you can write the code and you can check because sometimes this is also important is sometime uh, whenever you writing in some competitive programming or maybe you are in examination so sometime your instructor will explicitly write you know do this with the help of line by line reading not like directly calling this read okay because sometime you can see we are we are directly calling this function split line the split okay so there might be more thing okay when you are reading line by line with the help of this one so you will see some extra challenges okay rest of the thing you, you can see there is nothing more here just we can call read line i just there is one or two concept that is we are going to face there okay so i just recommending please do the same thing with the help of file dot read line okay and make sure you are getting the same result or not okay you have to maintain some extra two one or two things then you will get proper result okay okay fine so that's all everyone so this video let's meet in another one till then keep learning and keep keep growing